The airport was in a frenzy as yet another flight delay announcement echoed through the speakers. I paced anxiously around the terminal, checking my phone every few minutes for any updates from the airline. No such luck. Growing more frustrated by the hour, I sought out an employee at the information desk, hoping against hope that they might have a solution to get me to Fairview in time for my cousin's wedding. I'm sorry, sir. All flights are grounded until this blizzard passes, the frazzled attendant replied, with an apologetic shrug. My shoulders slumped in defeat as I sent a flurry of texts to family, letting them know of my unfortunate situation. Exhaustion from the stress and lack of sleep was starting to take its toll, but I couldn't bring myself to stop and rest just yet. Wandering aimlessly around the crowded terminal, I watched as other disgruntled passengers scrambled in every direction, seeking answers that no one seemed to have. After several more failed attempts to reschedule or find alternative transportation, I finally gave in to fatigue. Dragging my carry-on luggage behind me, I slumped into one of the uncomfortable plastic seats with a heavy sigh. Pulling out my headphones, I scrolled through a playlist, hoping music might take my mind off the delays. But it was no use. All I could think about was missing the wedding. As more time ticked by with no solutions in sight, disappointment and frustration mingled within me. All I wanted now was to get to Fairview, but it seemed this unexpected blizzard had other plans in store. While aimlessly scrolling on my phone, I jumped slightly as someone suddenly plopped down noisily in the seat beside me. Turning in surprise, I was met with a pair of striking green eyes peering back at me curiously from beneath a wild mane of curly brown hair. What a mess, right? The woman said with an exasperated sigh. Her bubbly voice cut through the tense atmosphere that had fallen over the terminal. Intrigued by her presence, I took in her travel-weary appearance and friendly demeanor. Tell me about it, I replied with a small smile. I'm Lily, she introduced herself, extending a hand. Jake, I responded, shaking it politely. Our introductions broke the ice and we began chatting to pass the time. As our conversation flowed more easily, I expressed my concern about potentially missing an important event in the small town of Fairview this weekend due to the delays. Small world, Lily remarked with an amused smile. To my surprise, Lily revealed she was also headed to Fairview. No way, I replied in disbelief. What are the odds that out of this whole crowded terminal, the person sitting next to me just so happened to be going to the same place? Any estimations on how long we'll be marooned in this chaos? I inquired, a sinking feeling gnawing at my insides as I contemplated the grim possibility of missing my cousin's nuptials. The wedding was the day after tomorrow in the afternoon, and it was looking increasingly unlikely we'd make it in time at this rate. Lily simply shrugged, her expression a mix of resignation and uncertainty. Could be a matter of hours, or perhaps days, she mused, gazing out the large terminal windows at the flurry of snow whipping past. This blizzard seems to have a mind of its own. Mother Nature is calling the shots now. After a pause, a playful smirk spread across her face. But I've got a plan. What do you say we rent a car and drive to Fairview instead? I was taken aback by the boldness and spontaneity of the suggestion. Rent a car and embark on an impromptu road trip through a blizzard? It seemed like the premise of a bad horror movie. Yet underneath the initial surprise, I felt intrigued by Lily's daring sense of adventure and refusal to surrender to the delays. Her enthusiasm was infectious, and I found myself curious about what such an escapade might entail. Before I could second-guess the impulsivity of it all, I heard myself saying, You know what? Why not? It sure beats hanging around here. A smile broke out on Lily's face, matching my own growing grin. Great, let's go rent that car. Her excitement pulled me in, and I readily agreed to join in the impromptu adventure. What did we have to lose, really, trapped as we were? By the whims of the storm. At least this way, we took back some control and embraced the promise of camaraderie on the open road. As the sun dipped lower in the wintry sky, casting a soft golden glow on the snow-draped landscape, we found ourselves cruising down the quiet, snow-covered highway. I sighed contentedly, soaking in the cozy warmth radiating from the heater. Lily chuckled at some memory, the sound bubbling forth and filling the car's interior with light-hearted mirth. You'll never believe what my sister did at the company picnic, she began, launching into a hilarious anecdote. Her joy was infectious. I could feel my own lips curling into a smile as she spoke. Delighted by her laughter, I shared a few amusing stories of my own. Lily threw her head back, cackling with abandon. The easygoing atmosphere, 
erased any lingering awkwardness between us. As our exchange of experiences flowed effortlessly, it felt as if we were old friends. Her vibrant energy was reassuring amidst the frustrations of earlier delays. Gradually, the initial barriers dissolved, paving the way for comfortable companionship. We spoke of dreams, loves lost and found, and the peculiarities of fate that had brought us together on this serendipitous journey. The rhythmic swish of wipers and purr of the engine wove a comforting backdrop as our conversation blended into the newfound camaraderie of this chance encounter. I felt grateful for the unexpected twist that had turned delay into adventure and a new friend. Despite the initial smooth sailing, our adventure encountered its first hurdle when the car abruptly stuttered and came to a halt, leaving us stranded in the desolate expanse of the unknown. No, 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 not now, Lily exclaimed. Her voice tinged with a sense of urgency as she frantically turned the key, hoping to revive the uncooperative engine. As a wave of apprehension threatened to engulf us, she gathered her composure and composedly suggested, okay, let's take a moment to assess the situation. You go ahead and lift the hood while I explore the possibility of finding a cell signal for help. As the minutes stretched into an agonizing eternity, our attempts to get a signal or diagnose the problem proved futile, the sinking sun casting elongated shadows as night rapidly encroached upon us. With temperatures dropping to dangerous lows, a sense of urgency swept over us like a chilling gust of wind, urging us to spring into action without further delay, collaborating with a shared determination. We tried everything we could think of to fix the car, but it seemed like the problem was beyond our understanding. However, we were not ready to give up, and in a stroke of luck, we managed to jury-rig a temporary fix using some tools and trusty duct tape found in trunk of the car. The engine sputtered back to life and got us moving again, but we knew it was only a matter of time before it would stall again. With the road swallowed whole by the inky blackness of night and the distant twinkle of civilization nowhere in sight, we wordlessly agreed to stop and wait out the night in the relative warmth and safety of the car. We took a deep breath and prepared ourselves for a long and uncertain night, fraught with apprehension and the anticipation of what the dawn might bring. As the first rays of dawn filtered through the car windows, I stirred from a restless slumber, the events of the previous night flooding back. Turning to Lily, I found her already awake, gazing pensively out at the pale light washing over the snow. Any sign of rescue yet? I asked gently. She shook her head. Just us and the pines as far as I can see. A wistful sigh escaped her lips, and I sensed the weight of responsibility she felt as the self-appointed driver. Memories of our late-night talks resurfaced, of her chaotic childhood and a bustling family, my lonely adolescence after losing my parents. An unspoken understanding had formed between us, bonding two solitary souls. As if reading my thoughts, Lily turned with a smile. Whatever happens, at least we've got each other, right? Heartened, I returned her smile. Together, we'll figure it out. One way or another, we'll get to that wedding. Our hopes lifted as the sun rose higher in the sky, believing the worst was behind us. But as we drove along the winding road, a massive snowdrift suddenly loomed ahead, blocking the path completely. You've got to be kidding me, Lily muttered in exasperation. I let out a weary sigh. After everything we'd been through, another setback was the last thing we needed. With no other option, we gathered our bags and ventured out into the deep snow. Each step sank knee-deep into the powdery whiteness, sapping our strength. Laden backpacks made forward progress an exhausting struggle. Still, we trudged side by side, buoying each other's flagging spirits. Lily regaled me with tales of her niece's antics, eliciting weary chuckles. In turn, I shared fond memories of family holidays past, keeping our minds off the numbing cold and fatigue in our limbs. Even as the miles dragged on endlessly, her cheerful spirit lifted my own. Our energy was nearly depleted when a welcome sight appeared on the distant horizon, a large snowplow slowly trudging along the snow-covered road. Summoning our last reserves of strength, Lily and I waved our arms frantically, hoping to catch the driver's attention. After what felt like an eternity, the plow gradually rolled to a stop next to us. A grizzled man peered out from the cabin. You folks need a ride? He asked gruffly, taking in our exhausted states. Too tired to speak, we could only nod vigorously. He swung the door open. Never had warmth felt so glorious. We collapsed onto the seats with heavy sighs, our frozen limbs slowly thawing. The driver regarded us kindly but said little, seeming to understand our need for rest. 
As the plow rumbled onward, Lily and I dozed fitfully, finding solace in each other's company. When we finally arrived at the outskirts of Fairview, the sun was low on the horizon, but we had made it. After thanking the driver profusely, we stumbled our way to the hotel, looking like walking snowmen. A hot shower revived our spirits before the rehearsal dinner. That night, I fell exhausted but elated into bed. The next evening, feeling a mix of relief, joy, and gratitude, I embraced the celebratory atmosphere with newfound enthusiasm and openness. I regaled friends and family with our adventure's humorous highlights, finding lightness even in challenges. Lily laughed along with me, her smile as radiant as ever. Throughout the joyous festivities, Lily and I exchanged smiles, reveling in our deepened bond. Slowly, I came to realize her friendship meant more. She had become so important to me during our journey. Seizing a lull when she stepped away to refresh her drink, I replayed our adventure in my mind, from our chance meeting in the airport to our impromptu road trip. It was then I knew I had to tell her how I felt. I found Lily in the garden, gazing up at the stars beginning to peek out in the darkening sky. There was something I wanted to tell you, I said, taking her hands in mine. She turned to me with that smile that made my heart soar. This weekend, this whole unexpected journey, has been incredible because of you, I said sincerely. I was hoping maybe we could go out sometime, just the two of us. Her radiant smile was answer enough. Her eyes shone with emotion as she nodded. From the moment we met, I felt a connection. Leaning in, our lips met in a kiss that felt long overdue after everything we had been through. As we rejoined the party, hands clasped in understanding, I took a moment to truly appreciate the present. Our unexpected detour had brought me so much, not just to the wedding, but to Lily. Sometimes, life's most extraordinary gifts come disguised as delays or storms. I was grateful this blizzard had blown us together forging a connection I hoped would last for many years to come.